When you watch any race, you can see that the competitors near the end start slowing down. The same is true in real estate. And now that we're winding down to the end of 2018, a lot of realtors are starting to slow down. Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you four things that you can use to finish strong in 2018 and set yourself up for a prosperous 2019. Hey, it's Michael Creasy here, the executive editor with Agent Inner Circle from agentinnercircle.com. And this week's article is contributed to us by our good friend and life coach, Brenda Florida. So make sure you check her out at brendaflorida.com. Give her a like. And speaking of like, give this video a big like, share, and leave a comment below. So four things that Brenda shares with us. Well, number one, she uses this word, you have to have a yearning. What are you yearning for? Well, in Michael's world, I need something stronger than yearning. What's that driving force? What's that big, hairy, audacious goal that I'm driving myself for that gets me out of bed? So let's throw a couple things around. Could it be an income goal? Yeah, maybe. But if you're looking for money, what is it that that money that you want to get is going to buy? What is it that it's going to do for you? Maybe it's a car. You're yearning for a car. Great, but we have to be more specific. What year, what make, what color? What does it feel like to be behind the wheel? You have to imagine yourself inside that car. Now, once you've identified that goal, that big, hairy, audacious goal, the next part is, what are you going to do to get there? And understand this, there's self-help tapes and DVDs and books written on this subject, and basically, they all sum down to wish for it, throw it out into the universe, and the universe will bring it back to you. You know what? I call bullshit. Unless you get off your butt and drive forward to get that goal, nothing's going to happen. No magical fairies are going to bring it down to you and hand it to you on a pillow of pixie dust. You literally have to, number one, identify that goal. Number two, lay out the steps you need to get there. And understand too, that as you start moving forward, there's a little narrative in your mind that will start playing out saying you're not worthy. What was I thinking in the first place? You have to push your way through that. Now, Brenda has shared four things. I've given you two out of the four. Make sure you check out the full article to get the other two. And as always, please give us a like, leave a comment, and let us know what you're doing to finish off 2018 the strongest ever. It's Michael Creasy here, Executive Editor with Agent Inner Circle. Look forward to hearing your comments.